Let's jump inside the Arc to learn a little bit more about our special product of the month, ArcGIS Monitor. What do you do to keep yourself healthy? Do you watch what you eat, maybe counting your calories, do some activity and track your daily steps, or maybe do quick check-ins like checking your blood pressure? Bottom line, you're monitoring your body to ensure that it runs as optimally as possible. The same thing goes for your ArcGIS Enterprise system. That's right, Maggie. And to talk more about how you can keep your ArcGIS Enterprise performing at its best, we welcome Derek Law. He is a product manager for ArcGIS Monitor with Esri Inc. And he's joining us today all the way from Redlands, California. Welcome, Derek, to the Spatial Report podcast. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me. It's awesome to have you here. And just for full disclosure, Derek and I, we've been friends for a long time. And he's also a fellow Canadian. I wear this Leaf jersey in your honor. So we're really glad to have you with us today. It's nice to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks so much for joining us today, Derek. And I know I personally am pretty excited to learn a little bit more about ArcGIS Monitor. It's not something I've had a lot of experience with myself. So maybe you could get us started today by just sort of telling us what is ArcGIS Monitor. Sure. Um, ArcGIS Monitor is a product designed for ArcGIS Enterprise customers. And basically what it allows you to do is when you hook it up to your enterprise GIS, it helps managers and administrators assess the health, performance, and usage of your ArcGIS Enterprise resources. Yeah, I could see you as you're talking with ArcGIS Enterprise customers all the time. They're probably asking, how is this useful for me? How can I use this? So what do you tell them? How is it useful for, uh, for ArcGIS Enterprise users? Sure. Um, the beauty of ArcGIS Monitor is it helps administrators and managers assess their system. So what you would normally do is you would get ArcGIS Monitor, hook it up to your ArcGIS Enterprise, and Monitor will then collect data metrics on the various components of ArcGIS Enterprise. And over time, it can help detect patterns. So which resources have the most activity? Maybe you should assign dedicated instances for them. Or maybe you have web services that don't have a lot of activity. You could put them in a shared log pool. And it also allows you to make sure your system is performing really well. So when there's a performance problem, then an administrator can investigate and hopefully find out what the cause of that performance problem is. Sounds like a really great tool to be able to make sure that things are running smoothly. Um, so something a lot of people should be using. I've also heard it often discussed when talking about uh, proactive management. So what is what do you mean when, when I hear that? What does that mean for this tool? Sure. Um, the idea of proactive management is that an administrator or manager would set up a condition on a part of their enterprise GIS to kind of actively investigate something before a problem happens. For example, let's say I have an ArcGIS server site and I could set an alert that says, notify me when this machine is at 80% or 90% memory usage. So when that happens, then the administrator can be proactive and either add more cores or add more memory to mitigate that uh, critical you know, alert so it doesn't fail or doesn't crash down the road. That's what we, that's what we mean by proactive management. Now, I know this is a really exciting time for you, Derek, because uh, ArcGIS Monitor 2023 has just been released, and this is a pretty significant release from my understanding. So what's so significant about this latest release, and how is it different from previous releases? Sure. Thanks for asking, Mark. So ArcGIS Monitor is a big deal for the Monitor team. Um, we spent the last few years building the next generation release, and the team has basically rebuilt the product from the ground up. They've overhauled the UI UX, so it's got a very uh, nicer user experience. If you've managed your enterprise portal or ArcGIS online organization, you'll see that it's very user-friendly. It's using the latest ArcGIS API for JavaScript and CalSite design elements. And the goal is to make this approach of DevOps for your enterprise GIS much more accessible. So new architecture under the hood, um, new capabilities, new UI UX, and it works with ArcGIS Enterprise releases 10.6 and higher. Great, so it works with 10.6 and higher, but does it work with all different types of enterprise deployments as well? Uh, yeah, great question. So many of our customers have a single ArcGIS server site and they might think, do I need ArcGIS Monitor? And the answer is yes. ArcGIS Monitor can help you monitor and assess the health and performance of your enterprise GIS. So whether it's a single machine or a multi-machine deployment, 
or maybe you have GIS assets within your local office and also in other domains, such as in Amazon or another office, Monitor can scale to work with you know, small enterprise GIS deployments or regional or even global enterprise GIS deployments. Yeah, that's really good yeah. to know because I, I always think of Monitor as being this sort of this huge scale thing that mm -hmm. you know large enterprise deployments need, but it, it sounds like it's for everyone, which is really great. And that kind of leads us into sort of the final question, the wrap up question, because uh, we like to ask all of our guests sort of the three main takeaways of the product that they're uh, that they're talking about. So, what are the three things you think everyone should know about ArcGIS Monitor? Uh, great question. So. The beauty of ArcGIS Monitor is as an admin or administrator, you can monitor the health of your system, right? So you get data metrics to ensure that everything is working optimally. Uh, number two, on the rare occasion where there's a performance problem, Monitor can help the administrator investigate and isolate the performance problem and help you, you know, mitigate these issues in advance of the problem happening. And ultimately, what's great about Monitor is by ensuring that your enterprise GIS is running optimally and performing really well, you're <clears throat> preventing occurrences or mitigating occurrences of system downtime, which is great. That means your enterprise GIS is meeting your organization's business needs. Dude, Derek, thank you so much for being our first guest here on the pod. And um, just as a, a, as a quick FYI, if you're uh, out there, Derek is a great follow on Twitter. So if you follow him at, at GIS underscore bandit, I think that's right, right, Derek? That's right. Yep, you can follow him, and he's got a lot of cool little um, tidbits of information about GIS in general, and of course about monitors. So you definitely want to check out his Twitter feed, and also he'll be featured in one of our webinars coming up in May. So uh, do you know what that's all about? Uh, the I believe the webinar in May is going to focus on um, best practices for managing your ArcGIS online organization and also your ArcGIS enterprise deployments. Fantastic. So it's something to look forward to on our feed as well. And we'll provide all the links of this information from Derek um, in our website. So Derek, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me uh, and letting me talk about ArcGIS Monitor. I'll see you guys. Yeah, we love it. Derek Law, he is the product manager of ArcGIS Monitor, and he joins us today from Esri Inc. in Redlands, California.